What's hanging guys, it's Julian Rich for 3985 coming at you with the final video in the Accelerator series and that would be for the silencers. Now fun fact, the silencers were actually the last to be introduced in the movies and for that reason I'm going to be doing it in that order. So no bias against the silencers, I love them. <laughs> and another fun fact is that the silencers are actually the mysterious team in the Accelerator's, you know, uh, franchise. Uh, no one really knows anything about them, there are only two drivers that are known to race for them and I'll be talking about them when I get to their cars. But as far as how hard they were to collect, the silencers were actually, in my opinion, the easiest, believe it or not. I actually got my entire set new in the packaging for $100 free shipping, and I also got a $9 discount because of uh, late shipping. But, I mean, you may think that that's a lot for 100 bucks, but if you divide that by 9, that's like, what, 9 something a car, and that's... Pretty much uh, cheaper than your average ratified, riveted, hollowback. Now, given some of them individually would cost more than those, there are no cars like, you know, say, Pile Driver and Flat Fury, which are 30 to 50 bucks a piece, and those alone will cost you almost as much as I paid for these cars. So, in my opinion, the silencers are actually the most straightforward to collect. You may disagree. Please let me know in the comments, and uh, I will happily have a discussion with you. But that's just my opinion. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the first car in the series, and that would be Octanium. Now, Octanium is a funny character. If you look at him, he looks like a bus or some hospital shuttle or something. Like, that's just what I see. And um, he actually wasn't in the movies, and I could see why. He's not that appealing. He's got those two awkward wings on the top, two thrusters. Um, yeah, he's, he's got a funny stance. And look at those small wheels and how spaced out they are. It's, you know, all sorts of WTF, if you will. <laughs> Funny car. Wasn't in the movies. Yeah. Now, Two of Nine would be my personal favorite, and it has actually got quite a story behind it, and that would be Nitrium. Now, Nitrium was driven by Dr. Tesla, and you may be wondering why Dr. Tesla was driving a silencer car when he himself wasn't technically with the silencers. And I actually have an explanation for that, and I think this is the correct one. Because in the world race, if you remember, Vert Wheeler was one of the racers, and he was just some random 16-year-old boy that recently just got his license. And you may be wondering how Dr. Tesla laid eyes on him. Now, the explanation for that would be that he knew his dad, and they were both part of the silencers in the world race and that's how Avert got recruited and we find find out you know this is confirmation at the end of uh, the final movie spoiler alert we find out that Vert's dad is this uh, one of the silencers and he could very well be the leader so this could be why uh, you know this actually m probably is why silence uh, Dr. Tesla's uh, vehicle is a silencer's vehicle is because he used to be with them but then he left and started his own thing so that's not true my favorite car I like him so much because you know he's more simple uh, and you know not too out of this world like all the other silencers he's got a simple one piece uh, window really uh, subliminal I like him I totally drive this car on the roads in real life if it existed but we all know that's not going to happen, unfortunately. But three of nine would be Anthracite. Now, Anthracite is my, actually my brother's favorite car, and I can see why. Really nice, uh, intimidating car. It's got the little outline of the two headlights, or taillights, should I say. Um, I actually had one of these loose, and that window, the, you know, the window piece, actually opens. Um, I would know because, like I said, I had it loose. You know, it's got smaller wheels on it. Really low car like this guy. That would be anthracite. Now then, four of nine is iridium. Now iridium is interesting because iridium actually came in a five spoke variation and it was actually also one of you know the McDonald's light up cars that were given away with the Happy Meals back in 2005. But yeah, iridium was actually found in five spoke wheels and um, he was actually also usually shown at the front of the pack in the movies of the silencers, you know, leading them. So I suspect that Iridium is driven by Vert's dad. Because, you know, he's there was a lot of emphasis on Iridium. So, that's just my prediction. Could be wrong. Of course, we'll never know because the movies were cut short. Still salty about that. But yeah, that is Iridium. Really mean car. No. Oh, sorry, 509 would be Carbide. Now, Carbide is a really unique car. He looks like an F1 racer. I mean, just look at him. I mean, the car speaks for itself. It's also got, like, a nice flat um, wing. I actually like the uniqueness in that. Very, you know, um, dedicated to this car. Yeah, Carbide, you didn't, definitely do not want to be sending this guy through the boosters and on the tracks because look at how exposed his wheels are. I mean, you don't want to be sending any of the uh, accelerators through the tracks because they're so valuable and collectible. You want to take care of them, and the, the paint actually gets scratched off really easily. Unlike, you know, the world race cars, which 
I've already done videos on those, so be sure to check, to check those out. But yeah, that's carbide. Um, six out of nine would be Cove Light. Now this is a fan favorite. This guy is just so distinct among all the other silencers. I mean, just look at him. Look at how he sits. Look at how menacing this car looks. He's so bulky. The big, bad, and the bulky of the silencers. I mean, look at that. Uh, the window is really cool too. It's got that nice curvy look. So one piece. It's got a red, uh, a red stripe down the back. I think that's to separate him from all the rest of the silencers because he's you know so cool. He's got that front middle grill. You know, that that is really nice. Um, yeah, it's got the most decal on it because it's obviously the biggest car. But yeah, that would be Cove Light, my friends. Now uh, seven out of nine would be Excelium. Now Excelium, uh, he was in the movies. Um, he's actually one of the cheaper silencers, I think. Uh, it's actually got, look, you could actually peer straight into the driver's seat, and if you had a little figurine small enough, you could probably fit a driver in there. Um, yeah, Excelium, pretty cool car. Now, 8 out of 9 would be Metalloid. Now, Metalloid was one of those cars to not appear in the movies. Um, that's a shame, there was totally room for him, considering we, they, you, with the silencers, the funny case is that you didn't actually have to associate a driver with each car. Um, they were all mysterious anyway, so you could have just gone ahead and thrown in Metalloid, I don't know why they didn't. But, uh, yeah, also I do believe that this window is also openable, it can be open, um, I didn't have it loose, but I've seen other people open it with their loose cars, so I could be wrong, but that's just what I recall. Uh, yeah, Metalloid is a pretty big guy, as you can tell. He's actually quite heavier than the other cars, so that's interesting to note. That would be Metalloid, my friends. And last but not least is good old Technetium. Now, Technetium, he was in the movies. Uh, no one knows his driver, obviously. He's a really nimble-looking fellow. I mean, just look at him. He's so much smaller than all the other silencers. And uh, I actually used to have a recolor of uh, Technetium loose. Um, it wasn't the uh, accelerated version, don't worry. And that wing actually breaks off pretty easily, so you want to be careful if you have this one loose. So, you know, it's got that curved wing. I like this guy. Probably my second favorite next to Nitrium. And one thing to note about the uh, silencers before I go is that the. Um, in the movies, they were actually white, not silver. I, I've noticed that. But with the cars, they're actually silverish. And I gotta say, I like silver more than uh, than white. But yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. And that would be it for the silencers. I hope you guys enjoyed. That would be the last of the uh, Accelerators videos to my knowledge. Um, be sure to comment in the comment section, anything about the silencers, your collection, your favorite car, whatever it may be, even like, you know, talking about the story with Vert's dad and Dr. Tesla, I don't care, I want to talk to you guys, be sure to comment, like, um, and yeah, take care guys, later.